This morning, we're excited to be joined by the Executive Director at the Bounty Trails Health Center Foundation, Shannon Samad Falcat, with us. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we're excited about the donation conversation. Every single time uh, a donation comes in, it's an exciting thing. Absolutely. We have great support from the community in our region. And with the Bounty Trails Health Center donation uh, conversation, generally when somebody donates, can you talk about where that money goes? Well, we support the entire hospital, but our main programs that we fund are palliative care, spiritual care, and equipment for the staff in the hospital. And throughout the months of the donation conversation, we've had the uh, pleasure of talking to to some palliative care nurses, to doctors who help with equipment selection. It's an incredible group of people that you guys have there. That's right. We appreciate their support. 100%. 100%. And uh, the really cool thing going on right now is the, uh, the 50-50, the raffle happening. Can you talk about what's going on there? It is our second annual Fall 50-50. It uh, started in early November. And we have a guaranteed jackpot of $10,000, but we are hoping to have a huge jackpot beat last year. Last year was $40,000. we would like to smash that record. There are three early bird prizes to give away courtesy of Co-op at Home. And the first one has already been uh, drawn for the Apple AirPods Pro. And the next one is the Ashley Swivel Chair. And then we have the uh, Black Label Louisiana Smoker on December 17th. And those are some exciting prizes to be a part of. So that kind of people should get tickets now to get in on those. Absolutely. If they get in now, they're definitely in on getting the chair and the smoker. And of course, the jackpot on New Year's Eve, December 31st. And uh, you mentioned the uh, really cool story from last year where you guys gave away over $19,000 to uh, a very special winner in the Pemina Valley. That's right. Last year when I made the draw, I realized that the winner was our past palliative care nurse, Tina Bickert and John Bickert. So that was really exciting to make that phone call and let them know that they had won just shy of $20,000. Wow, that's got to be. It's a fun call to make, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. Like (laughs) Every time I make a a phone call for the prizes, it's exciting. But giving that much money away on New Year's Eve to start off 2021 that way, nothing beats it. And if somebody wants to be a part of the uh, the 50-50, if they want to help that pot grow and increase their chances at winning, talk about how they enter. It is an online raffle. So there is a website that they can visit. It is www.bthcf5050.ca. Many levels of ticket tiers available to you. Or if you're not comfortable online, you can always call me at the office and I'd be happy to help. There we go. And an extra five figures to start the new year wouldn't uh, wouldn't be nothing to complain about. That's right. <laughs> well, Shannon, thanks so much for coming in this morning and telling us about it. Thank you for having me and thank you for sharing.